Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn, where I don't understand how this works, but whatever. Um, I've left the game running for a bit. We have built more things. Look, they're all built. They're all, they're all fantastic and wonderful, but we have some problems, and that problems start and end with the fact that we don't have any robots. Um, I don't know what's happened. I don't know why, but... We've gone down to nine bots, which most of them, I think, are over here, um, working over here. So um, I'm not sure why, but that means that our bot has, has... I think I do know why. I think I do know why. I think what's happened here is um, I hadn't set these priorities up. So I hadn't... I've just done this. Just done this here. So these are set to high priority, and now the um, bot assemblers are set to um, higher assembly. Um, but I think what's happened was that also... I might not have switched them all over to bots. And they were a low priority, so no one's actually come to work here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch these back to being beavers. They will get some workers in here. We don't have as many beavers as I'd like working, but that's fine. We have no constructors doing anything, do we? Nope, no constructors. We've got people there. So yeah, so um, and then hopefully we can rebuild our beaver population. Uh, this just confuses the life out of me. Um... I can't really. <laughs> I put these in here. It makes sense. This is spinning one way. This is spinning the other way. But it just doesn't. I don't. I don't know. I've just got to ignore it. And maybe I could figure it out later. Somehow. I don't quite know how. Um, but maybe we could do. The awkward thing here is that I now can't destroy this because it's got stuff on top of it. So I can't put a straight power line in here to do what I wanted to do before. So. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to redo it ever so slightly with something else, maybe. Um, just to get them spinning the same way. There's no way to get them spinning different ways. I have tried, again, removing these, spinning them around and putting them the opposite way. It doesn't make any difference. It's, it's all down to how these things here in the center initially spin. So uh, you need to get this spinning the right way. So I need to build this in a straight line so all of them spin the same direction and then when they spin the same direction come in and remove these and put in the uh um universal ones at the end and then when i come to do it down here this needs to be a straight line build thing first once it's spinning put the universal power line in blah and then when i reload the game they'll probably be spinning an opposite way so but anyway anyway we just need to go through and get things done uh resources are doing well we do have a lot of bot things and heads i think what might have happened here is i let this all get built and uh, I think I've set this to um, automatically say bots are the workers. So when these got built, they were built on this path. And this path is connected to this town center here. And so they've got bots. But these ones weren't because the path wasn't constructed first. They built these first and then built the path afterwards. So they were beavers. And because we don't have that many beavers and the things were low, there were no bots being made. So, yeah, so all these were bots and they've done things and we have fuel and stuff and bits pieces, but the rest wasn't. Hopefully we can kickstart this and get our bot population going again. We should be able to, just by high prioritizing this is fine. Food is really not an issue at all. We don't need these to be mm, all mad, all, all beavered. Um, so, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. You are... Uh, Briska, hey, um, you can pause, actually. Um we're good we're good for antelope so just pause for a moment we don't need you working here this will be fine it hasn't spread the the, the berries haven't spread into this area here mm. not quite sure why the dandelion sorry haven't spread into this area here um yeah it's not too not too sure not too sure uh so is there anything else i want to do here um you change height based on the drought thing so when a drought comes you should shut which keeps this greener for longer it's nice that should be the same i really should have a um a, a, a thing here with um uh I'll go faster um the floodgates as well that changes basically closes when the uh the drought comes along um droughts not so much because droughts um obviously they start powering down so they become weaker which the, the water level drops but when a bad toe comes along we could slam this shot here slam the shot here and it would just keep all the water in here for longer but I think we particularly need that. Mm, yeah, well, 
We'll see. We'll see. We'll leave it for the minute. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, we could also put a valve in between these two here somewhere. Underneath here, put one of these little uh, one-way valves and just have them do good water. So even when this whole thing, um, when, when it all shuts down on us, um, it's letting the good water that's in here through. It won't be good water for very long when the bad tide starts, so... But, you know... Either way, we basically need to wait for stuff to be done here. So, I think I think early on, right now, we're going to put a little cut in here. We're going to wait for some bots to come back and rebuild our population. Uh, what else do we want to do? Uh, I've still got loads of rubble on the floor we need to pick up, but that's done by builders, and we don't have any builders yet, so that's fine. This we want to design up here. We don't have a drought coming, so it might be good to come up here, but then we don't have any beavers to do it. So, yeah, I think, I think we're just going to have to wait. I think we're going to have to wait. Um... Let's see how it goes. Uh, I will say, have a, have a comment on the previous episode. Thank you very much for all the comments. Uh, Hoffmeister asked whether these pipes that we have here, the straight pipes, whether they can accept power from underneath. They can. They can accept it on the side, from under, or from on top, from any anywhere on that levy, that solid levy on the end there, anywhere that you can connect into. So the two sides, the top and the bottom. So the idea of this uh, thing that we're going to build here would be that we would have the power into them we drop the power down by one so if you can imagine there's a great big tower here um there's the the pipes on here that go across and go down so they put the pipes go across um so they suck water from here drop it off over here and the power will come up the side but it won't come up the side because it'll be stored in the uh flywheels around here but just underneath the pipe um just at the underneath at the uh the lowest point of the pipe um, there will be a levy, which is a powered levy. And the powered levy will uh, transfer power from the flywheels via a junction like this um, to the pumps. Because we'll put a junction in, and then we'll put a levy next to it, and it can transfer power across it, down into the flywheels, and... Um, Cross into the next pipes, and then the pipes all connect to each other. So that's that's the plan for that one there. That one there. We just need to somehow get the power up to here, um, which I'm not quite sure how we're going to do yet. Um, we've got this power line here, so I think that's how it's going to work. Really, we're going to just power this up a bit more um, to here, and then the power will go up into it. I need to figure out exactly where the uh, the thing's going to be, and. yeah so i think i'm gonna wait for some bots to be made and i'm gonna plan out where this is gonna be we need to blow some holes in the floor because i'd like to blow it at least four deep so the bad tide doesn't affect the area around it not necessary but i would like to make it at least four deep and this one i need to figure out something with this because we need to go down and we need to put some supports in so that we can build the uh um the flywheel the mega flywheel thing this thing, uh, this thing. Here, so we can put the mega flywheel here so um yeah we need to put some supports in there uh this does have to be on the ground as well oh we can't put the minion one no nope, we can't put the minion one it's not possible it's not possible because you can't put them in, the, in you can't put them on platforms they must be ground only so so i won't do them here we'll dig around this and put in some things around it so that it doesn't so the bad tide and the good water and whatever doesn't affect anything and then we'll run it all the way down here and then the bad tide will come off and go this way, and the good tide will come off and go that way, and everything could be awesome. So let's wait for some bots to appear, and I will plan out kind of roughly where it's going to be. And we can hopefully, um, hopefully, get a plan in motion. So we shall be right back. Okay, so we are in business when it comes to bots we still have 19 jobs available for them but that's okay that's okay we're we're, uh, we're back we're back everything is now running on bots again here so the bots are making the box which is awesome that means that we won't have to worry about the uh the beavers uh having to sleep in things the bots can make bots 24 hours a day which is awesome uh, with these guys running on potatoes as well um we have enough for about 240 bots i want to say Pretty sure these can support 120 beavers, uh, bots, and, and we're up to 86, 88 in total, 95 in total. So um, we're not even halfway there. I think we're good. However, I have planned, I have planned, I have built, I have designed, 
let me show you. But well, I said plan built. I've done the basic layout for it because I need to figure out where things are in order to blow stuff up. So this is how it's going to work. Uh, it's not going to be this high. It's going to be tall on this. Don't worry, it's going to be high on this. But the water will pump from here, and there'll be three of these as well. From here to here, fill this one. From here to here, fill this one. From here to here, fill this one. From here to here, fill that one. And the bad water will go this way, filling this one, and then dropping in there. And the good water will go this way down to here or this way down to here i'm not quite sure yet um we could just drop it straight out of the side of the tower here the good water onto the floor which wouldn't be a problem um because we could blow up some of this here we can make this river a bit wider here so the river could i want to kind of straighten the river not completely straighten it but i would like to um maybe take out some of this edge here and fill in some of this edge here so the river instead of doing right and then a left it will go straight and then curves left that way and if we did that if we did that made it sort of curve that way um we could have it bend in here and then bend back out again extend this out here and make the river there so he ends up right on the edge of here and then the good water can just pour straight into it um we could do that there is a small problem with that however um that problem is the one-way valves um that we can put in uh, you can't filter what um you, you can filter the speed of them but you can't filter what water they have whereas these ones you can filter if they're good or bad water so these would have to maybe be one tile taller than the rest so this pumps out of the bad water and then this pumps only the good water which should get to the top alternatively we could just go with um grabbing one of the shorter pipes um here not quite sure whether these have unlock that uh yeah these have filters so we could we could unlock this one which requires power but that's not a problem power being here anyway and um, and then that one can dump out the water it's the same it's the same as the other one okay but it's just the valve is only a one way it just basically lets water through whereas this pumps the water so you can pick which water it pumps so um i think we might do that we we'll do that and then we'll have like three of those just pouring off into the edge here the river will come right by this and then turn and uh back to here and then along and yeah we want to fill in some of this here as well this bank here so um we're gonna narrow the river but we're gonna we, we're gonna narrow the river on top but deepen it or widen it three down so it become one tile deep smaller but bigger three down so we make this part slightly wider and this part smaller so yeah so we can basically get up to the river's edge just like we have here that's that's the idea so yeah so we have to do that that's fine this is the size the tower is going to be as well they're going to be that big did one here as well because that's that size that encompasses the insides of this here so bom, bom, five yeah so that encompasses the insides here um i also don't know whether i want to do stuff on the outside of it to make it a bit more solid um so you don't see the water pouring down the side like make it a little bit fatter the tower on the edges we might do that so instead of being three across it might be five or one by five I don't know. i'll figure that one out when we, we can always add stuff to it this is the minimum it needs to be but i also need to come in here i need to blow up things around to figure out where the hole is going to be because i need to make sure that all of the high places aren't on levees like this they need to be on one higher than that they need to be put on powered levees like this we have to go one up above them power levy so that's what i need to figure out so i need to go up to whatever height i want to go figure out the spacing of it like this the vertical spacing because if i want to put in the archways underneath it i need to make sure there is a full gap below it because the archways can only fit to certain things alternatively we could just instead of making it out of the three by threes we could make it out of the uh, ones or just all the way and it doesn't matter with the spacing and living and things because that it might also look better doing it that way um we might do that i might do it that way we'll see we'll see um yeah so i need to plan out the explosives and put the explosives in and get things going here there is no beavers in with well, the beavers in the workshops here but they i've cut the path on back here so they can't build this and there's no beavers here in the districts that they can't build here either so okay okay let's um let's plan out some explosive things and i need to do the heights and stuff and this is going to take a little bit of trickery to do because i need to figure out but I need to I need to count because I can't get the height mod working for some reason. I can't get the uh 
the mod that shows me the height for the map. It doesn't work on this version of Timborn. So um, I need to figure out how high we want to go. Excuse me. Uh, figure out. Figure out getting a frog out of my throat. Uh, but figure out how high I want to go. And then when we go down by one, we have to count up. Although if we do ones, yeah, I think if we do it with ones, it'll be easier. I won't have to count anything. We can just do things. I just need to know we have to blow down by two. So that when the bad water's in here, it doesn't affect the land around it. Not desperately important, but we'll see. Okay, let's um, let's do that. Okie dokie, explosion point number one. Boop, 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 boop. Pop, pop, and pop. Okay. And I've gone down by three. I think you need to go down, down by two to stop the uh, water flow. But I'm going to go down by three. Just because I can. Um, and I am going to put in the three by threes down here. Um, as kind of the, uh, the floor, the baseline, if that makes sense. And then we're going to go up one at a time. Like that. Yeah, so we'll build those and then we'll go up one at a time from that point. Now, this is kind of going to be our base point. That's the tower. So I need to figure out how high we want to go. And that's going to be based off of the flowers. Because these are a certain size and they have to fit inside there. So we can only go up so many heights, so, so many heights, so many tiles before we hit the build limit so five won't take us far enough six six is about where we are already and we know we can go taller than that we know we can definitely go up um at least two here i think so seven one two three four five six seven We want to go okay and then we want to build on top of that our uh uh pipe which doesn't go from this end it goes from the other end so i've got to build it from this way backwards but yeah and then and then that'll go that way i don't think i'm actually going to use the 15 pipes here i might make it smaller i might figure out the distance between these two find out the center point and then do a tower and center and make them slightly closer together here and then it can pour into this river um, because if we do it this way, it's going to pour into the river at this point right here. So the, the water ends up coming down there on that tile right there. Yeah, that tile right there for the centerpiece. So, um, yeah, I don't really want to do that. I'd rather have it pour down over here if possible. So it's just above these guys. But um, obviously these won't be here because we'll have to remove them when they put the tower in. Um, but then the idea would be that we'd put a tower in here another tower in here and that can just pour out the stuff there and we don't have to worry about this tower being um being perfect we could output the water at the very bottom of the tower as well on this one we could pour the water into it from the top and then just have the outlets on the bottom which i think we might do i think i might do that whether i'll put these flywheels in it or not i don't know because we could technically still do that because if you look at these outlets here we can put them in the bottom like that, and we can still get the flywheels in there. In there. The flywheels can still sit in there because of the size. So we could do that, put the flywheels in anyway. Um, I'm also kind of decided uh, we're going to... Every one of the... Uh, um, towers, every one of the towers is going to... I think I want to blow them all the way up down to bedrock, down down to down to this level, whatever this height is here. So they're all building up the same, which means we'll have great big holes. But that also means I can store ridiculous amounts of power, ridiculous amounts of power, which we, we're gonna we're gonna have ridiculous. Amounts. These these store um, fifteen hundred, sorry fifteen thousand, sorry one hundred and fifty thousand, not fifteen thousand, one hundred and fifty thousand each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight. Um, so it's going to be seven. Seven times 150,000. 
That's 1 million power and 50,000. 1 million and 50,000 power in a tower. So a million power tower. Million power tower. Yeah. Um, I, li I like the idea of that. Maybe we'll go seven and there'll just be a million power tower. And then I'll blow this one down to this right here and we'll put seven in that one. And this is the same. And this is the same. And then this one won't have any inside it because we just simply can't. Um, so yeah. And then the wall will go this way instead. Um, and yeah, so a million power tower. Nice. I like the sound of that. The million power tower. Um, so we'll have one, two, three, four. We'll have four million power stored there. Um, plus these guys. Um, uh, you, I, I did have a little bit of a play trying to figure these out, and I managed to make this one spin the wrong way, and the rest are fine. I don't know it. But then when I reload the game, it doesn't do things. No, I didn't have a play. I didn't have a play because I, I can't have a play. I was going to have a play, and then I remembered again that you can't remove these universe power shafts because they are the supports above. So I can't remove them without removing the bit on top. So um, I didn't. So yeah, um, this is turned around on its own between saving and loading the game. So fun, 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 fun. It makes no sense. I don't know. Maybe I can figure out how to power them all one way. Just by having maybe a power connection on one end. Come out and this end come out. Have a power connection just on either end that comes out. Um, and then all of them are connected directly, which means these windmills in between power the stuff underneath them not via this here but via stuff there so maybe uh, who knows who knows uh, this is working as well uh we've got our scrap going which is awesome i'm actually going to pause this guy uh because i want to get rid of the scrap here the, the spare scrap so i'm going to pause that guy for a minute we've got loads of bots doing stuff here we've actually got six jobs with no beavers in at all so uh we're good, but we're good. We can get rid of the paper. Did I bring the paper down? I haven't brought the paper over here yet. We'll have to do that. Didn't I make a paper? I made a paper one there. But I didn't bring the paper over. So paper should be here somewhere. It's not going to go here somewhere because there is no paper. So paper's going to go over here. And then they'll have to uh, just walk it along. And yeah. So we have loads of trees, planks, loads of gears, loads of planks, no paper, loads of logs, loads of explosives, loads of metal blocks, no bad water, some extract, which I am now exporting as well. And we've got loads of planks in here and logs in there wow we've got loads of planks loads of loads of planks um i was exporting them because obviously i need them for the uh, the big explosives deep explosives so yeah uh, this isn't going to work the way i want it to uh, here because i'm blowing things up sort of incorrectly um but it's fine it's fine we're just going to bring it all down make the tire and then and then blow it up as time goes on so so yeah uh but it's, some of these are going to be missing and things, so I need to probably change up some stuff here. Mm. I need to bring that down by one, and I, but, but, but I'll figure it out once I blow it up. I'll figure out how to go there. So that's um kind of the thing there. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna but we won't build this tower anytime soon. Um, in fact, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make the tower. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the tower actually. I don't want them even putting the goods down for the tower. I'd, I'd rather that. So we know we get seven in there. Remember that. Remember seven the million power tower. So we'll do that, and then I'll blow this one down, and I will blow this one down, and I'll blow this one down. I will bring you back for the explosion, so we might do a little montage at the start of the next episode of kaboom, 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 and then kaboom, kaboom, kaboom and, and boomy boom. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, but this one is going to be left like this. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.